professional <laughs> thing. And <laughs> Can you turn that off, please? <laughs> We're doing an interview here. We're doing an interview, like. <laughs> I can't hear you. <gasps> I'm honestly, man. <laughs> Class. Um, obviously, it's been a long time coming. It's something that the two of us have like been waiting on for so long. So, um, especially with the era that we have ahead, it's just so exciting to be back in early at the start of the year. Yeah, obviously, it's very exciting to be back. It's been a long time coming. We probably haven't been in a comp together, and it's first senior comp like over two years. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's good to be back. And I mean, what better comp to be back? With I know, and the, the weather and everything like that. Yeah. How did you find being in group? Um, really tough, obviously, injuries are tough any injury, but I think one of the hardest parts for me was that it was so unpredictable and I kind of didn't really know what was around each corner and um, he didn't really have a set time frame, so it was just kind of whatever was then thrown at you, but yeah, as I say, I'm just so happy to be here. What about yeah. you? I think yours was tougher because, you know, it was just you that had the injury? No, but like, all injuries are tough, like, and everyone's different, it would probably be unfair to compare them, so. Yeah, but thankfully, like ACL, you know, you have a set time frame. You know, you know, within nine to 12 months, you're going to be hopefully back on the pitch. What did and you then, find uh, hard? Just obviously, you know, never been injured before. <clears throat> so it was hard to take, you know, not knowing. But uh, again, saying the likes of Demi, Cara and stuff, having them, who were just slightly ahead of me, was obviously great to see how they were progressing. And then, you know, having them to ask questions, like if you're feeling down or, you know, do you have bad days and what do you do on them and how do you get through it? Yeah. Obviously it was a wee bit mad that the two of us were like sitting watching in the stands and like when the team qualified for the Euros it was yeah. it was class. Yeah, obviously it was sad not to be there but you know anybody that came in was gonna do as good a job as us. That's what I mean and the team like I don't know, you would probably agree that they made us feel so welcome and as much of a part of it as you could be at the time. So you couldn't yeah. really have asked for any more to be fair. After the qualified, obviously, we all went back to the hotel and had food together. So it was nice to still feel a part of it. How did it feel not to be directly involved playing in that playoff game? Oh, look really hard. Those are the games you want to play in, you know. It's probably the biggest game that we've ever had um, at the time um, as like the Northern Ireland women's team. So, of course, it's tough and of course, like you want to be on the pitch as much as possible. But um, as I said, like the girls made it so easy um, and made you feel so part of it that you did feel a massive part of it, even though like you weren't directly. Yeah, no, definitely. It was tough not being there, especially I'd obviously been in the previous camp, so you know I was really looking forward to this one and trying to get into the team, but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be. And kind of came right before it was. It came unexpectedly for you because like you were in all the previous camps, and then that kind of hit like a bit of a bombshell for you that like you'd worked yeah. so hard to prepare for you those know, games. And I wasn't in previous camp, so the one in February we played England. You know I got my first start, and it was really looking forward to the next camp to see if I could, you know, push on and keep my position in the team, but unfortunately not. But as you say, you know, we still felt just as part of it, yeah. even though we weren't playing. No, definitely. And what do you think about, like, the next couple of months? What, like, what do you see it looking like? Or? Yeah, obviously this is the first camp of the new year and we're taking it as um, preparation for the next camp in April against Austria and England that are massive games for us, you know, they're World Cup qualifiers. We want to do as well as we can in them, and then obviously hopefully prepare for the Euros and be back to that score. Yeah, obviously, like we want to qualify for the World Cup. Qualifying for the Euros is great, and it's a massive achievement, probably the biggest ever. But um, now we know we still have a chance of qualifying for the World Cup, so it's focusing on that. And like on a personal note, I'm sure it's the same as you. It's just getting a run of games together now, and yeah. getting good blocks of training, and getting to where you want to be. And um, as fit as you can and as much sharp as you yeah, can. Yeah, I think this camp came at a great time for both of us. Definitely. Yeah. You know, it's three friendlies, but you know, there's still three important games for us. And it's a perfect opportunity for us to get our, you know, our match fitness back that we maybe haven't got at club level yet. Yeah. Being away in Spain's class, obviously, like it's good to be training at home and 
um, a bond, but there's just something different when you get to come away to the big high level facilities and obviously weather like this, warm weather training and um, it's going to test your fitness and, and the girls have came here and worked really hard yeah. I think. So. Yeah, obviously this has been the perfect opportunity for us and like both games so far we've both got on the pitch in the first game obviously we started and it's mad to think that it's our first like senior start together um, ever and we've been playing football on the same team since we were 10 and yeah. I just think it's mad. Yeah, obviously it's great to be back and coming back into this camp. You know, we've got a start and we've came on the pitch so you know we're building up our game time and you know, train this weather for 10 days, we're getting sharp, you know, we can train more and train in professional environment every day. So I think being injured, you really, you know... You learn your body more, like, like yeah. you, you learn what your body needs and and before training what you have to do, like, away from training what you have to do, like, sometimes I think those are things that you kind of take for granted yeah. and, you, like, you don't really think about until, obviously, you get an injury and then you see the importance of all those things. Yeah, before and after? Before I was injured, I probably, you know, sat on a foam roller and mm -hmm. probably didn't take it serious enough. And then now you spend that little bit extra maybe focusing on, you know, the likes of your ankles, your knees, just so you don't have to go through, you know, another injury. Yep. I think this is only, and you probably agree, the start of the hard work for the two of us. Like, um, of course we want to be on the plane and going to England in the summer, but like there's still a lot of hard work to be put in. This is only the start of it, and this camp's obviously helped in preparing for that. But like we just need to go and work hard at our clubs and and see what happens. Yeah, definitely. You know, <coughs> everybody's talking about obviously the Euros, but for me, I'm just thinking about each camp as it comes and trying to perform well and be picked for the next camp. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's mad to think that when we started playing at Limfield, maybe under 12s, that we'd be here and preparing for the first major tournament. Where that I know. Been to. From our Bloomfield pitches to, to here, ah, it's crazy, it's crazy. And if probably if you had asked us when we were that age, we would have said absolutely no way, but it's just a testament to us sticking at it over the years and, and working hard. Yeah, obviously, hard work pays off. Yeah. Um, we've come through, you know, it hasn't all... <laughs> it hasn't been all roses. Yeah, it hasn't been <laughs> all roses, but, you know, we've worked hard and we've got to where we are. Yeah. No, I didn't get a starter, I don't even know why. <laughs> oh my word! My feet are amazing! No, look at my shoes. <laughs> Anybody want a stone? <laughs> uh. Seriously? Here, we just go further. Fuck, honestly. Honestly, like. Seriously. There's a fool! Bag of stones in my shoe.